talking about. I appreciate that because for anybody who's never done this, you got to know that doing stand-up comedy can be nerve-wracking. You know, because you get up here with your best stuff and no matter how good you do, there's always a table that's playing Cisco and Ebert. <laughs> you deliver your joke, right? So you're always sitting there like, you know, yeah, that was good, but uh, <laughs> had he said that the monkey actually slipped on the banana, that would have been better. There once was a story about a man named Baz. He was on a little quest just to get a little advice. <laughs> From a friend who would teach him how to figure. She said to help you out because you're my new friend. <laughs> uh, you're a friend to the end, light chuck you with the stitches. The first thing you know when you're talking to them. Women. <laughs> it's women do the choosing, so don't push like a slob. And before you know it, she'll give you a blow. When they employ you. Here's the last little tip that I think you should know. Keep your mind on your money and don't give it to no homeless. You don't make them think that you was there when I was writing this song. And we all lay down no ground rules, right? So the ugly chick just walked right up to us and she started talking to us. And the late our lady, she looked at the ugly chick. And she looked at us. And she looked at the ugly chick. <laughs> and she looked back at us and she said, well, well, who's this? And, you know, we stopped. We, uh, 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 my cousin? <laughs> and she knew you lying. And before you know it, you got an ugly chick for your baby mama for the rest of your life. And... Women, they have what's called a sex meter that go off too. You know, they do their fair share of cheating. But they're a little smarter than us because they don't get caught like we do. Say it again. Look at that. Uh huh. Yeah. Ain't none of y'all with your boyfriends. Okay. Hey, why don't they get caught? Because us fellas, we go for that. You know why we go for that? Because at the end of the list, we know there's sex. Right? See? To us, they don't necessarily tell us the truth either, but they don't straight out lie. They just tell it to us in a way that won't bruise our little ego. And I thank them for that because when they ask me questions I don't want to answer, I don't lie to them. I don't straight out tell them the truth either. <laughs> tell it to them in a way that won't bruise their little ego. She <laughs> said, Baz, have you been cheating on me? I look her right in the face and his father said, Every chance I get. <laughs> and it's not that I'm going to cheat or did cheat, but if I ever do, she can't say I never told her. <laughs> She's shaking her head, yeah, over there. <laughs> and you know those old 3 o'clock in the morning, late night specials, the most famous. Ladies, y'all know what that is. You know, 3 o'clock in the morning, y'all wake up, y'all wake us up. <laughs> you know, we look you in your eye. You give us that look, you know what that means. You want us to go down upstairs and get you something to drink? <laughs> and they date like they play in spades. <laughs> oh, you already know this. <laughs> that means that they keep three in the possible. She said, yeah. The good dude, the bad dude, and the dude that's like a brother, and you could possibly take one of their spots if you play with your <laughs> And uh, drinks, I don't buy drinks anymore. I used to. But then, you know, she told me, bad this again. She said, I never had a Long Island iced tea. Did you buy me one? I said, okay, I'm going to buy you a Long Island iced tea. I bought it for her. She drank it. Turned to me and said, could you give me another one? That one wasn't made right. <laughs> oh. A minute ago, you ain't never had a Long Island iced tea. Now you a Long Island iced tea expert. Look, we go into the store, all right? Don't look at, don't touch, don't ask for. Because you ain't getting nothing, all right? I got $30, that's all I had. Now, if you got to the store, and you didn't appreciate 
or respect the speech, mama had a little thing called the jab and grab. <laughs> you ain't know what the speech was, so you gonna really like this jab and grab, all right? And it went to something like this. The kid is in the store said, Mama, I want the transformer. Mama will look around. And she go like this here. <coughs> no, he alright. He been breathing in about 30 seconds. I was sleeping by woke and I woke up to a noise at my Baba bro. And the noise was Baba saying, Yes, Daddy, give it to me. <laughs> and I don't know exactly what it was that Baba wanted, but I was sure hoping that Daddy gave it to her. <laughs> and he did. And I know he gave it to her because she kept saying, Yes, Daddy, thank you. <laughs> Over and over and over again. <laughs> and then I went to sleep and the next morning I seen daddy getting ready to leave. I ran out by broke and I wrapped my arms around daddy and I said daddy! <laughs> and I could tell that daddy was surprised by the look on his face. History has proven to us fellas that we cannot get away with cheating. <laughs> That's why I'm not a cheater. That's what you call a person who gets caught. <laughs> right. And we always get caught, fellas. You know why? Because like he said earlier, right before me, our standards are so low. Are so low. If a woman is too nice, she says hi or stares at us too, for too long. We automatically think that she want to have sex with us. And who do we always get caught with? We always get caught cheating with the ugly chick. <laughs> yeah, every man in here has had an ugly chick that you don't want nobody to know about. Some of us more than others. <laughs> right. But we always get caught with the ugly chick. And when do we get caught? At the wrong time, like when we sober. <laughs> And fellas, you want to control the argument? Notice I said control, not win, because that, that's all you can do is control it, not win. <laughs> all you have to do is, like me, ride with CDs. <laughs> you, yeah, you don't have to worry about the radio. That way you control the argument. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, don't listen to a lot of, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a lover of hip hop, but don't listen to a lot of rest. My favorite artist, DMX, you know what I'm saying? That's my band, DMX. But DMX be sending mixed messages sometimes. Anybody, if you know about DMX, you already know what he's about. If not, I'm going to tell you. You know, DMX is getting on the mic and then, yeah, I kill this and, and hurt that and suck this and eat that and this. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> now, I'm not a Christian, but I know that that is not the answer to what would Jesus do. We in the car driving, song comes on, and I start singing to it, right? It's that uh, Jamie Foxx, Neo, and Fabulous Home. I love her cause she's got her own. She's got her own. I'm in a zone, right? So my girl, she's sitting over there like... How come that's the only part of the song you sing? It? I'm like... No, that's the only part of the song I know. I'm singing it, so you know, song goes on. Next song comes on. To the left, to the left. <laughs> For a fact, somebody got to win this subliminal argument. I'm waiting, looking at her. She waiting, looking at me with her arms folded. And then it happens. That dad gonna be on <laughs> Oh, my single ladies, oh, my single ladies. <laughs> and I'm mad. We don't find out until like 3 o'clock in the morning. We wake up. She's watching recorded episodes of CSI. And we like, uh, everything okay, look? And she tell you, no, I'm alright, go back to sleep. 
Come mess around and be the longest nap you've ever taken. <laughs> apologizing and explaining stuff that she didn't even know about. I'm sorry. And another thing that I don't like, you know, they wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and tell us, I had a dream. And in that dream, you were sleeping with another woman. So I told her, you need to go back to sleep because I don't think I was finished. You know, we speak two different languages. Like, if it's something that she wants to do, I'll tell her, you know, go ahead and give it a try. That's what I mean, go ahead and give it a try. But I found out if she tells me, go ahead and give it a try, that's a threat. And, and you know the other set up statement where they tell us, no, go ahead and tell me. I'm going to be bad. What do we do? Yeah. We ask for each other. We go, oh, yeah, we don't learn. Then she does one of these. <laughs> no, give me a second. <laughs> and we actually think she's finding a way to cope with what we just told her. Oh, no. My actuality, she just went into seek and destroy. <laughs> my New Year's revolution was to in 2009 to not eat any more coochie. <laughs> like I did in 2008. And I did, you know, I got a new way of doing it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's, it's so different that I had to find a name for it. And the closest name I could find was called The Matrix. And uh, I don't know your names, you wouldn't tell me, but I'm um, like The Matrix. Who? Danielle, because I'm starting to talk about eating coochie. Now you want me to go to Fellas, how many of y'all like or enjoy doing that for your women? Yeah. Okay, now ladies, how many of you ladies enjoy having that done to you? Big difference. Now, and you know, I'm going to tell y'all, like I told them military people there, I, I salute the baddest military on the planet. Give it up for the baddest military on the planet, please. But I also told him it couldn't have been me. I couldn't do it. Now, I'll fight for the country, don't get me wrong. But the military has gotten to like a commitment level that I ain't quite reached. Their they motto is leave no soldier behind. I'm from a place called Asbury Park, New Jersey. Who's from, you from New Jersey? No. Oh, I was about to say the name. They weren't really excited when I said it, you know. But uh, our model was a little different, and it goes a little something like this. Ain't no need in both of us getting shot. <laughs> Got a couple Columbine potentials over here. They, they, they laugh until they talk like that. <laughs> and then, you know, he up in there crying, and you can see it on everybody's face that was in the courtroom. Nobody's lying. Story. I mean, like across the board, the judge was up there texting people. <laughs> the stenographer wasn't even writing anything down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why you have to cry? This was across the board. It was nothing like that first word. You know, that, that, that first trial, you know what I'm saying? It was like split down the middle. You had white people over here. He's guilty. You had black people over here secretly agreeing. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was at a few protests out there. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. You do know you did that, right? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, because uh, I don't know how you did Oh, heck, on the camera. No justice, no peace. Hey, we go, go, man. You know, she hit me with the class anyway. Y'all know what the class is. She said, you will never, ever find a woman. Just like me. <laughs> and the whole time I'm thinking, that's the whole point. <laughs> and the whole time I'm thinking, that's the whole point.
know, she say subtle stuff like, I'm going to have more room in this closet <laughs> in a couple weeks. <laughs> And, and fellas, 
Be mindful of the truth and honesty when you are having a conversation with your girl. I'm not saying lie, just be mindful of the stuff that you tell her. Like, so you, you can't tell, especially, you can't tell her, like, sensitive things, like, yeah, baby, you know, when Michael Jackson died, I cried, and, and all that stuff. Because you think, in that time, that that is between you guys and two, they want to see <laughs> one of her friends out in public, and you're speaking, hey, how you doing, Jess? And as you go to leave off, you hear Jess say, hee hee. <laughs> Matter of fact, what's your name? Say, yes. Jess. Matter of fact, the last time I was here, I came up with the circle of comedians right there. You might remember this. And I said, hey, you know what? I just really have to hug everybody. Hug I said, Jess, is this a circle of comedians or a circle jerk? And her face, she was like, I don't know, but this is my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I had to shake her mother's hand with the. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Do it. I'm just saying. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It's hot out. We got cooked out. So cooked out. So out. Yeah. yeah. So you know, black people was on top of the cookouts. Yo, but I went to a cookout, and the weirdest thing happened. All right, thank you. Y'all might not get this, but they had a DJ. And the DJ was playing hip hop songs, and one of the songs they was playing was a rapper by the name of Ampanelli, y'all know? Right? So the grandmother of the person who I went to see, the grandmother didn't know the, didn't really know Ampanelli. But they was playing his song, put it in your mouth. And she was over there eating a hot dog. She was like, that's what I'm gonna do, baby. I'm gonna play it in my mouth. I used to ask you. My dude, like, actually was involved with a gang. Like, you know what I mean? I, I was, but it was, it was crazy because it wasn't like Bloods and Crips or nothing like that. We didn't actually fight, is what I'm saying. We were, we were posers. Not posers like fake, like real posers. Like, we'd come to your neighborhood all day, stand on your corner, and do our fake, do our best poses. Like, <laughs>
instructions to something to do. He reads them to you, and then he explains it, and then sits there and watches and wait for you to do it. And the whole time, be like, if he say one more word, to me, I swear for oh God, I'm gonna bust him in his head. But you don't do it, man. You don't do it because you need the job. That's why we don't do it. You know what else doesn't happen? You never see this person out in public. You don't, because if you did, if you seen him in public, you'd be stalking him like a jealous ex <laughs> I started. 